Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is the third day since the release of Rise of the Titans. Since the ending put the fandom in a tailspin and today I'm here to talk about the theory, the speculation of what the ending for the movie actually means. Um, I'm doing this well, I wanted to make a video on all of the questions that the ending of Rise of the Titans kind of leaves. Because there's a whole bunch with the ending. So, spoilers for Rise of the Titans for the movie. Um, but I want to do a video on how Toby being a troll hunter affects the main plot and how how many questions it, it, it you want to ask now. But Dr. Hero actually posted a video on the uh, ending explained. I watched his live reaction to the movie. He hated the ending when he finished it, and then he sat down and he actually talked it out with Coolcraft. And I haven't watched that live stream yet. It's two hours. There's better things I could do with my two hours of time. Um, and now he likes the ending. And I wanted to talk about what he said the ending is. I'm going to recommend you go and watch his video first. It's a shorter video. Um, the reason I'm making this is because I want to add something to it and I, I, I like his idea for it, but it hasn't been confirmed. So it's not the official what happens after the ending. It hasn't been confirmed. And also, and if it, I don't have Twitter, so you'll have to tell me if Del Toro said, yeah, that's cool, or no, it's not. I don't have Twitter. Um, so this ending hasn't been confirmed, or the reasoning before, or the explanation hasn't been confirmed yet. But I think it sounds plausible, and it sounds good. It's just, it's only speculation at the moment. So let's, let's talk about this. So basically, the theory or the ending explained is that Jim still has his new amulet. Jim's new amulet, the one that says for the good of all, uh, daylight is mine to command, he went back in time and he still has that. And I was wondering where it went at the end of the movie. Did it just disappear with time because it hasn't actually been created yet? But then again, it hasn't been created because it went back in time. I'm not going to talk about the timeline because that would get messy. Uh, so I was wondering where that amulet, amulet went, but it's saying that Jim still has this amulet and Toby now is the troll hunter and they're going to work side by side. And because Jim has his new amulet and he was already able to convince Nomura and Strickler and all of those bad guys to go to the good side, they're going to be able, he's going to be able to do that again, but now Toby has magical armor and not armor made from Merlin. Um, and that's kind of like the, that's the basic how it explains. So it's, Jim still has his amulet, now Toby has an amulet, and that's why the amulet picked Toby. Because the amulet knew that Jim had his own amulet, and Merlin saw this all coming. I recommend that you go and watch Dr. Hero's video for a better explanation, because I don't know if I can do it justice, but apparently Merlin saw this coming, um, because he can see the future, so he saw this coming, so now the amulet knows that it was in Jim's destiny to make an amulet, and then come back in time, and then save all these people's lives. See, my problem with this, I think it's a very, very good theory. And in my mind, I'm going to think of it as how it's and I'm going to look at it this way because I was originally just ignoring the end, the official ending. I was ignoring the fact that Toby was a troll hunter. I was thinking that Jim never went back in time. Instead, he had a kid with Claire. They named their son Toby, and they sat down one morning and they told Toby the story. It would have wrapped back up with the beginning of the movie, which is just a recap. But they addressed the Watchers, so they broke the fourth wall, and they could have made the, the fourth wall unbroken if they just had that as like an epilogue. But they don't have that, so I was just ignoring the ending. But with this theory and this speculation, I don't have to ignore the ending. And also with this idea, it also doesn't ruin the franchise because Toby being the troll hunter did ruin it for me because I wouldn't be able to go back and rewatch the show without thinking, wow, all of this happens, but it doesn't matter because Jim erases this timeline. But with this, I can think, alright, this is Jim's 
origin story. This is Jim's hero, and he's going, when he, at the end of the movie, when he goes back in time, he still has his amulet, and he still remembers all of this, but he's going to save all these people who died. And, um, one of the things that I really didn't like with the original was the fact that he gave Toby the amulet, and Jim, as a troll hunter, went through so much trauma and so much pain. Uh, he gave up his humanity to save the world. And it doesn't fit Jim's character to do that to his best friend. Jim is the one who would shoulder all these burdens. I mean, that's why he became a beast in Wizards, because he wanted to get his friends free and save the world. He's not a type of person who is just going to give the amulet and his burden to someone else. And I thought it ruined Jim's character. But with this, it it doesn't ruin his character because now Jim still has his new amulet and he could fix all of it for Toby and make sure Toby doesn't get any doesn't get any of these problems. He still has his problems and he can also avoid these problems. Like the half troll doesn't exist anymore. So that's the thing. And that's kind of how I'm going to think of it because I want to enjoy Tales of Arcadia. I want to be able to go back and rewatch it and enjoy it. And I really hope they come out and confirm it. Even if this isn't how they planned the ending to go, I don't know if they planned on everyone loving the ending more than they, we than we do because we don't. I don't know. I know some people like the ending because a lot of people like Toby and they like that he became a troll hunter. But it doesn't fit Toby's character to become a troll hunter. He was written as the sidekick and that's not offensive to Toby at all. In writing, there are specific characters and specific plot points and specific stuff you have to map out for a specific characters. So the hero has a different set of uh, stuff he has to go through to get to his arc than the sidekick does. So Toby was written as a sidekick, Jim was written as the hero. So I didn't like that because I mean, it doesn't fit Toby's character. And I know a lot of people liked it, so I'm not saying we all hate it, but I don't know if they planned on more of us enjoying it and not having so much backlash. I wanted to make this video so you knew that I don't hate the ending as much as I do now, uh, that I, than I did. I, I still don't like the way it ended. I think we, as a fandom, does, I haven't even been in the fandom since the beginning. I've been in the fandom since the beginning of April, I think. Um, I've been in the fandom maybe end of March is how long I've been here. Uh, so I haven't been here for all the five years, but I know a lot of you guys have. And I think that the fandom d deserved a better ending. Even with this speculation, I still think the fandom deserved a better ending because there is nothing in this ending that makes this theory concrete. Besides the fact that this is what you hope for, besides the fact that this is what you've learned, you've learned that the that the amulet is a chosen one trope. It is it's destined for Jim. You learned that. So why in the world is it no longer destined for Jim? Because if it was first come first serve, Blinky would have got it because Blinky watched the watched Jim get the amulet. He said in there, oh, it picked a human this time and his eyes light up in the sewer. Go watch the episode if you don't remember. It would have picked Blinky if it was first come, first serve. So if we're saying that he has the new amulet, Jim does, then this amulet apparently knows that he has his own amulet. So he picked the next best thing and Toby is a hero. Even though he's a sidekick, he's still a hero and he sacrificed his life um, to save the world in the original timeline. And so it knew that because it's Merlin and it's Merlin's amulet. And so, oh, it's, I don't, it's, it, it gets, going back in time, screws up a lot of stuff and it makes it even more confusing when you do crap like this tales of arcadia so yeah i i have to think of it like that and i wanted to tell you guys because all these people in the comment section are like i hate the ending i'm like i hated it too but let me tell you about this theory that kind of makes it better it does not make it perfect because there there isn't anything that shows this theory I think if we, if Tales of Arcadia really wanted us to think that this was true, they would have had a one like little clip where, kind of like in the uh, the first episode beginnings, um, 
Strickler saw the amulet sticking out of Jim's bag. So maybe they could have had a little quick call back to that and when Jim was saying, hey Tobes, take the canals home, they could have panned down to Jim's bag where it had for the good of all on the amulet sticking out of it. Just, it gave us something concrete. It gave us the fact that, oh, so Jim does have the amulet. So he didn't give his responsibilities to Toby because he is going to, he's there to stop it and he has an amulet now. Um, I think that would have made this better. So I don't think Tales of Arcadia meant for this ending to be like this. I think they thought we were all going to really like the ending. I'm, I'm not the writers, I don't know, but I think that they really wanted a big bang and they thought this big bang would be good. I don't think they thought of the consequences or anything more than, hey, let's give these viewers a big bang to go out on. And I think this theory makes the ending a lot better and I'm going to think of the ending like this so I can enjoy the show. Like I said, the show is going to be the uh, the story, the backstory, I guess, of how Jim became a hero, or I don't know, but that's how I'm gonna think about it. I wanted to make this video so you knew. I recommend you go watch Dr. Hero's video because he goes over all the deaths that are, you're, like, that no longer happen because of Jim having this new amulet, and he talks about how Merlin would come back sooner, and the half troll never happens. Sadly, I love half troll Jim, but it was a little useless. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's linked in the description box and in the uh, pinned comment down below. You can go watch Dr. Here's video, definitely recommend. Tell me what you think of this uh, ending, of this is how the fandom is going to interpret it. What do you guys think? Do you like this interpretation? I like this interpretation, it's just the fact that nothing in the ending hints to it. There isn't one single mention of Jim's new amulet at the end. Uh, unless I missed it. So did I miss it? Uh, yeah, it's it's sad that that's how it ended, but that's how I'm going. So did you, do you like this theory? Did you like the original ending where it's just a troll hunter is now Toby and Jim's not a troll hunter at all, doesn't even have an amulet? Tell me in the description box. I did not like the ending. I know a lot of you guys didn't, so does this theory make it a better ending for you? It does for me. But yeah, um, subscribe, like, do all those fun things. I have Rise of the Titans AMVs out and edits out already, so go to my main, go to my channel page to check that out. On Saturday, um, I am going to be doing a live stream on my other channel, Other and Maddie, linked in the description box, where we watch the movie together. I'm hoping to, so let's hope YouTube doesn't screw it up. It would be on this main channel, but <laughs> YouTube has banned me from doing live streams on here, so thanks, YouTube. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you guys the next time. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, everyone.